Disclaimer, the following video was a very stupid idea that absolutely should not be attempted at home. The creator of this video and all parties involved are at least 21 years old and therefore of legal drinking age in the United States. Do not attempt to recreate anything you see in this video, especially if you're underage. Clownpuncher139 has very minimal drinking experience, thought he hallucinated recording this video the morning after, and only did this because the idea popped in his head one night while watching anime. Don't be like this guy. Don't try this. January. Christmas is over, but seasonal depression is still in full swing as school starts back up. Great combo for school depression, guys. Brilliant idea. So my roommate and I did the only logical thing to do at the end of our first week and got drunk playing Smash Bros. Then instead of doing the further logical thing and going to bed because it was nearly 12am, I brought my Xbox out to the living room, somehow set up my recording software for the first time on my new computer, and played through Batman Arkham City while tequila drunk. Yeah, this is a hindrance I've been hyping up for the past month and a half. You're welcome. Also, enjoy the constant shift in mic quality since this was before I got the one you're hearing now. Yay! Here we are. I don't know what this is going to look like. When I'm editing this, I'm sure I'm going to be rolling my eyes because I'm an idiot, but here we go. I am excited, kind of. I don't know. Jumping right into the game, we realize what kind of drunk I am. If it wasn't obvious already, the elusive stupid drunk. And I go right ahead and play on hard for literally no reason other than because my roommate told me. What difficulty should I play on? Normal or hard? Hard it is. At the same time, I have him make me another double shot drink because drunk peer pressure. The real question is, will I finish this in time? Answer, no, because I decided to play an over three hour game at 11.30 at night. So of course, things start with skipping cutscenes and slowly walking through processing as I go about poorly explaining the plot to my roommate. Because for some reason, he's never played this game before. I've never played this game. That's alright, I'm gonna be skipping all the cutscenes. Sure. Yes, yell at him all you want in the comments. I ponder how I'm gonna go about posting this video while having barely started making it, and I still don't know while writing and narrating this script. Good god, please be merciful, YouTube. Keep at least F-bombs to a minute. Sure. F -bombs and above. This is what we call foreshadowing. I combat very badly, which is not a good sign for things going forward, and have a backwards revelation about how controllers work. God damn it. <laughs> Controller, I've had you for 10 years, you should be fine. That's not how that works. Yeah. <laughs> is this funny yet? My roommate makes an educated guess on Penguin's eyeball situation. I know it's a monocle, but it looks like somebody like, shoved a bottle in That's exactly what happened. <laughs> it's not a monocle. I swear some more, and finally notice that I haven't introduced my partner in stupidity. Oh yeah, I never introduced the guy with me. Uh, this is Anderson, my roommate. What's up? Thanks for naming me. You might have, uh, now I'm responsible for everything I said. <laughs> now, I was gonna make a joke here where I bleeped his name the first time, then proceeded to just leave it as is for the rest of the video, but I came to realize I literally never said his name again throughout the entire thing. So, that kinda sucks. Anyway, remember how I picked hard mode? I have not played on hard mode in forever. I only play on normal and new game plus. So this is different. Now you got it. Well, I'm almost oh. dead, so. Wow. Yeah, almost dying in the tutorial is not a good sign of things to come. I proceeded to the Batsuit location, swapping between no less than three different topics as I tried to explain the plot. No, I'm still at. The, the whole city is a prison, basically. Tell him the Batsuit has a happy face on it. <laughs> See? It's a happy face! Yeah, alright. And I got that from a speeder out of GDQ, so... Constantly explain how much I know about the game. <laughs> yeah, I've played this game like 50 plus times. Which became a really common theme of our conversations, and you will hear no less than 10 more times in this video. I know basically every line in this game. I've played it too many times. Oh, I can tell. And explain a conversation only the two of us know from over seven months ago. Yeah, backing up to what I was saying earlier about, like, this being my favorite game, like, the main reason that I gave was because it's got, like, a revolutionary combat system, and then immediately you bring up, what about Dark Souls, and I said, well, that's not the same. Which is doubly ironic months later, now having played Dark Souls and knowing it has one of the worst combat systems in history. Fight me. And now I, I like, completely regret saying that statement. Drunk me pre-Dark Souls pain might, but so are me filled with nothing but hatred does not. Shut up, me. And watch this. Hopefully I can get it. Damn it. Oh, wait! He's <laughs> <laughs> right, the Enough said. Perfect game, folks. I reveal to the world just how dirty my mind is with an innuendo that isn't even an innuendo unless you think about it like I do. And apparently nobody knows that you should go out the front. Everybody goes out the back door for some reason. 
that's an innuendo in itself. I hold no shame in this moment. I am not making sense, am I? No, Clown Puncher, you are not, nor do you begin to throughout the entire rest of this video. Anderson apparently gets really excited for beating up Harley here. No, I oh, yeah, she's yeah, really yeah, Harley. Yeah. <laughs> I'll let you interpret what that means about him. I don't know myself, and I live with the guy. And I reveal what it probably meant to him. And that's where you give her a premature abortion. Clown! Are you serious? Not, not abortion, miscarriage. That's what I'm looking for. Damn, Batman, what about your one rule? I mean, I'm not gonna go there. <laughs> I'm not gonna go there. That's a really harsh subject. Let's get political, baby. I did all the things you do to knock out thugs, and apparently did them correctly. Some animations are not great. No, that was amazing. Yeah, <laughs> then I escaped a bomb and played some Superman 64. Which I failed because I'm drunk. Oh shit, I missed it. You fucked up. God damn it. Nothing interesting happens as oh, I, I dive into a chimney filled with lava. Sick. Except for the fact that I'm doing all the quickfire gadgets in the chimney correctly despite not knowing what I'm doing. And he asked me about freeze, to which I say... And I'm probably gonna struggle with it a bit because I'm gonna be pretty far gone by the time I get to it. Then I go off again about how much I know about this game because I guess if I'm gonna repeat anything, it should be a not so humble brag about what I do for a living. Then I died! Did I mention this was on hard yet? How about the fact that I still remember where my actual blind attempt died and the fact that it took me over an hour to get there? I still remember that to this day because I have a video of my friend, like, slapping me in the face at the start of it. I'm gonna put that in the video. Oh, yeah, that's why. Well. May as well hold true on my promise. There's the Batman, and there is the dumbass. And here comes the blind dumbass. Ow. I had to make sure you couldn't see anything. Why? What? Well, it's a double shake. Good times. And then proceed to absolutely blow Andy's mind and maybe make him want to play the game someday? I think it's to keep you That's exactly what they just That's did. That's amazing. Yeah, and I'm just going to not bother fighting them because I don't care. Now, if you go straight. I could, but that's only to get a Riddler trophy that I can't get you right can? now. can? Yeah. Alright, that's the only thing. game of the year. <laughs> and here's the first boss. And uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cheese him out. Couldn't have said it better myself. Time for a meticulous battle of serious button mashing and oh, he's dead. Oh, and Joker's dead. Really? Take a look. Oh, that's depressing. But also moves. If I haven't made my horny levels clear enough with some of the means I've used in the ABCs of Arkham and Blindish, me pointing out boobs on the screen should finally do it for ya. Go to horny jail. No! I then proceed to very poorly explain bad blood because Anderson decided to bring up blood types. Batman is dying because Joker infected him with his blood, which is infected by some, like, poison from the first game that you don't even know about right now. This goes on for some time. We proceeded to talk about our majors for a bit because, fun fact, he has the same major as me and is graduating this year. I want a video game where you play, like, in a wheelchair. I'm sure there's one out there. But, like, no, I mean, like, in a wheelchair, but, like, you have a minigun on it, so, like, when you shoot, <laughs> what? you start, like, wheeling backwards. It's like, <laughs> Honestly, that would be pretty good. You, you, like, scream, like, it's like, yeah, you do more damage, but you start sliding backwards, like, 20 feet. Yeah. I swear to god, I will bring up that idea during pitch meetings. If I don't, I am going to yell at myself while in another drunken stupor, possibly while playing Arkham Origins. That is not foreshadowing, I'm definitely doing that someday. Then I died again! I am a speedrunner, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, you tell him, Clown Puncher. I'm gonna die. You're good. Ghosts don't affect Batman. Oh, never mind. Yeah, so a section that's normally over in about 30 seconds took about two minutes for reasons still unknown to me today. And even the times I thought I was big-brained were ultimately for nothing. Uh, friggin' thing. Actually, I can take away their guns. Oh, crap. Please don't shoot me. Shit! I further badly explain the plot. You don't really need to know the details because I know them. I do things not as optimally as I could and still say crap like this. I'm fast as fuck, boy. Remember when I said not to curse? Yeah, nobody listened to that rule. This is going to be a bitch and a half to the edit. You're not helping yourself. You're I know. But I honestly don't care. <laughs> this is a fun time. I'm playing my favorite game drunk, so fuck it. I'm gonna have fun editing this, hopefully. I'm about ready to renounce drinking forever after this. I'm literally only doing this for you guys. At the very least, it was fun in the moment. This is quite the experience for me, if you haven't noticed. I, you are a great time. I am very
very much having a great time. <laughs> this is so much fun. I then do this so fast, I finally impress Anderson with my gameplay skills. <laughs> wow, that was, that was honestly impressive to me too. Nobody tell him it was dumb luck and I prayed to RNG Jesus before launching the game. I'm still riding that success high. I guess it didn't help much as this was probably the most luck I got in the entire game. I have never had to dodge these guys because I've taken them down so quickly normally. So that's kind of a first. I then do a great combat section followed by a terrible predator section. I somehow failed the speedrun strats twice in a row. Please have a double takedown. That is not... That is... Wow! I have a shotgun! Damn it, why did you see me? Did I mention I'm playing on hard? Why did you look at me? I pressed Y! So anyway, I kick all their asses and head underground. I also don't know what I'm doing half the time in this. I guess now is as good a time as any to mention that I didn't even remember doing this the morning after. I thought I hallucinated the whole thing and had to confirm by seeing that my Xbox was not in my room when I woke up. Also that I was basically half asleep during the whole game, so my eyes were basically closed most of the time. I still don't know how I did this. We then have an existential discussion about why Batman must use the bat symbol when spraying things with his explosive gel. Like, he has, he has no reason to do the bat symbol, but he does anyway. Yeah, I appreciate that. Like, I think he just does it because it does cover a good area, so it makes sense to blow up. Which ultimately goes nowhere after I mention Poison Ivy, further alluding to our eternal loneliness. To be immune to Unfortunately her. not, but Poison Ivy also doesn't go ahead and attempt to kiss him. I need to get some upgrades. Oh, yeah. that's a shame. Yeah, that, that's, I guess, not really. Why doesn't the, like, 22-year-old kiss the 45-year-old? That's so weird. <laughs> I make it back to the museum, get jump-scared, and save Elvis Jones. Oh my god, it's t -Pain. Is that racist? I hope not. <laughs> now, did I mention that I'm playing on- These guys all go down in one critical hit? Oh wait, no, they don't. This is hard mode. Shit. I thought, well, and the Titan served as no problem. Hey, why don't we work out one arm? I do more things quickly, and we talk about Lego Batman. The only real thing I've seen of, uh, like, the Lego Batman movie is... Just like, hey, Batman. <laughs> My name's Grayson, but people just call me Dick. He's like, like well, because you can't get cool. Yeah. I get the frozen cops out just as easily as normal. Again, I still don't know how. And we talk about King Shark, who, fun fact, is a shark. Oh my god, I'm a teacher, fine. <laughs> and they like break him out of prison. And uh, she's, she's like, oh my god, teacher, I'm so sorry. And then he's just like, it's okay, Charlie. Uh, me being in, me and be, like me being here allowed me to see the failures of the prison industrialization complex. I should probably watch that show. Sounds good. Oh yeah, and here's another boss. Oh, here's another boss. Who's, uh, Bro, you are massive. That's what she said. <laughs> He's related to the hammer guy that we saw earlier. Remember? Oh! We killed your brother like twice. You have his other arm! Yeah, so this is his brother, uh, Scythe. Who, uh, according to the lore, uh... Nobody cares, drunk clown puncher. And if they do, they can go watch that iceberg crap. I beat all the thugs in the armory and got Frieza's suit back, then had an existential crisis as I had to figure out whether or not I was dreaming. For some reason, I feel like this is not real right now. I feel like I'm dreaming doing this right now. Life wake up! Life wake up! Wake up! He wasn't very helpful. I mean, yes, life is a simulation, but still. I skipped Tiny, somehow had some trouble with Penguin, and beat up Grundy really easily. Again, don't ask how, I still don't know. Is it because you like his big balls? Perhaps. I swear, as I seem to be prone to doing... Uh, rips his fucking heart out! And continue on with the story after a bathroom break. And for some reason, while doing so, I left Anderson on the mic to his own devices. Hello, people. <laughs> How are you? I'm sure you're doing great, and if not, you will be, because I believe in you. I bought some maple syrup from Canada. Pretty excited about it. make some maple cookies. That'll be fun. I'm pretty sure he still hasn't made those yet. And the syrup is still sitting in our cupboard. Not sure, though. Now it should be noted that I currently have no idea how many shots I've had, which is usually how I measure my drunkenness, since I hate beer. Okay, but like, how many shots do you have? Like, 11? I don't know. Well, you're the one, you're the one who made the drinks! 
I do more Batman stuff in the sewers, again doing it shockingly well for no discernible reason, and we get to talking about bicyclists and my dad being one. Okay, so does he have like the really tight clothes and the short shorts? Yes. Okay, we're not looking too good right now. I'm not gonna lie. I would, <laughs> I would certainly hope he's not one of those assholes. <laughs> but like, as far as I know, which is very little, he very well could be. I'm uh, certainly hoping not. No, your dad. Thank you. I'm sure, I'm sure he's fine. Sorry, Dad. Don't blame me for this. Blame the Global Cyclist Network. I'm sure he stays in the cycling path and doesn't, you know, go in the middle of the road. Yeah. Anyway, then I died because I did this room in the completely wrong way. These guys are really dumb. Oh, crap. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Shit. Maybe speak less in the third person, Clown Puncher. Wait. Yeah. Oh, please don't die. Please don't die. Oh, snack. I didn't, and moved on with poorly explaining the plot to Andy. Okay, so she is a doctor, though. She is a nurse. And then I fight ninjas literally better than I ever have. I am somehow avoiding them. I do not know how I am... I don't know how I'm actually avoiding them, because I am bad at this, Second normally. Nature. Andy then goes on a rant about how Jack's Batman is, thanks Unreal 3, and I go off about bat nipples. The bat nipples from Batman and Robin can cut <laughs> diamonds. This yeah. guy can cut at least stone. I somehow beat all the ninjas almost effortlessly, achieved dead parents percent, and made my way to the demon trials. The future is now. Here's Tali Al Ghul with a great ass and great rack. I should claim hypocrisy after all my that sexist comments in the Arkham Asylum video, which a lot of you gave me crap for. Well, Feel free to give me crap again, because I will not take back anything I said under alcoholic influence. Blame the tequila, not the drinker. Yeah, but I don't really care because this is so much fun. Exactly. Oh yeah, and I beat the demon trials while also poorly explaining them even more. That man takes drugs and ends up in this area. For some reason healed from <laughs> Joker's infection. I did it. Now let's beat up a dying old man. He likes fun before you kick. That makes it better. <laughs> That's a Star Wars record. Indeed. The best movie. Right comment section. And not quite. Fight me, Revenge of the Sith is the best. Every other opinion is wrong. Oh crap, no! Oh, this is not a good job. No! no! God not damn it! Great job. No, I no. have noticed. Okay. Yeah, it kind of sucked in this phase for some reason, despite my nearly flawless clone beatdown. Carpal tunnel, long boring speech, and. Oh, Super Saiyan. Then I died. Man, just treat it like a free God power. damn it! I haven't failed to mention that I'm playing on hard. You are Wolverine, just straight up. Then I beat the boss down nearly flawlessly, done while simultaneously telling a story about my first experiences with scorpions. Right, so you beat Captain Scorpion. I guess. So I beat Raish, failed more speedrun tech, and made the very long trek back to action. After realizing I was an idiot and didn't get the shock when I got the sonic batarang, we realized it was 1 a.m. and Anderson had to go to bed. It's like, one, I think. Oh, man, I gotta go to bed. I gotta wake up tomorrow. Oh, jeez, okay. Uh, I believe you. in you. You can go ahead and do that. I'm just gonna keep doing this. All right, so I believe in you. And now I lost all the comedic potential of this video. Thanks, adult responsibilities. So if I could say one last thing, it'd be thank you, Daddy Michael. I will give no context to this joke. I proceeded to do the most idiotic moves possible in finishing this section and in the following S.H.I.E.L.D. introduction. I then started this combat section literally flawlessly. I don't know how I'm still processing this game so well, but I am, so... Okay, well, I'm saying that while I'm getting hit, so not really in the end. Only to acknowledge that I'm doing well and proceeded to get my ass kicked. So I have a theory. When I don't think and just play, I do good. But as soon as I realize I'm doing good, I begin to fail. It's almost like I enter a state of zen while just playing, and I break that zen whenever I open my mouth. Let's see if it tracks. Okay, that kind of works. I am honestly surprised. Huh. So I guess the lesson is for drunkards to shut the fu- Anyway, I got lost trying to exit the subway and then saved Sharp flawlessly. 
Ugh. Ugh, excuse me. Is this video funny yet? Time to fight Freeze! Alright, Freeze, what are you gonna do to me? I died instantly. <laughs> Dude, Bly kick, hello! God damn it. Then I died just before the final hit. God, come on. That was going so well. No, it wasn't. But the next attempt somehow was literally flawless, and I didn't get hit once and got speedrun tech while I was at it. Let's go. I proceeded to save Vicky nearly silently and completely flawlessly. Seriously, what is it with the completely opposite ends of my gameplay? You'll now notice that most of my remaining footage is pretty much silent because I didn't have someone to bounce off of. And this is why I don't really do Let's Plays. I don't talk unless I've got someone with me or I'm swearing out of anger, neither of which were very common here. <laughs> oh yeah, and screaming for no reason is there too, but don't worry about it. Yet this is the extent of fun without a buddy here. This is our muscle memory for me while I am somehow doing the whole beef Ah. Then I died instantly in the next predator section. What the fuck? Then I did it perfectly after not understanding time. It is 1.30 already. So, a little bit later than I expected. Hopefully I'll be done by 1.30. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? I'm a genius. I then ran into every single wall in this hallway, tried and failed the smoke bomb strat because I was too slow, got absolutely wrecked in Joker's Funhouse, and finished a drink to call my limit. It probably should have been way earlier, one thing's considered. Nonsense, Clown Puncher. You didn't proceed to have the second worst hangover of your life the morning after. You should have had more. Oh yeah, then I literally dominated the funhouse barely getting hit and getting multiple blade dodge takedowns, which need I remind you are pretty freaking difficult even when you're sober. Since I can't skip this cutscene for a while, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. And the second I got up, my game crashed. And of course, it didn't save after the fight, so I had to do it all over again. Fuck you, Joker. I just beat you. This fight went horribly, but I still beat it. Alright. Okay. Also, can I just mention that every single one of these fights had me taking down Mr. Hammer with the Bat Swarm, something I didn't even know could happen until I played Blindish, and I got it three times in a row? This is legitimate speedrun tech if anyone can figure out how to make this consistent. Get on it, people. I need to get water because I need to hydrate. Hydration is important, kids. Go get a glass of water and drink up, you dehydrated fuck. Anyway, Protocol 10 went off without a hitch, somehow being done better than my actual speedrun. I looked at memes while Strange monologued. <laughs> and I beat them almost flawlessly. Alright. That went way too well for one of the final combat encounters of this game. What? Who killed me? Who the hell killed me? A freaking spinbot sniper, apparently. Turns out I'm secretly playing TF2 again. But one complete failure later, I cleared the room flawlessly again. What is with this? I either fail miserably or do it perfectly. Where is the middle ground, game? Simultaneously impressive and sad at the same time. I monologued about first world problems while Strange monologued in the background. I'm an idiot if you couldn't tell. I make bad content. I don't know why 15,000 people are subscribed to me. When my content is shit like this. Comment section, go off. I finished climbing the tower, and somehow the guards were already alerted to me, and then I died. Have I proposed the statement that I am playing on hard? I beat them next time. Okay, let's finish off this game once and for all. I failed this sniper section a lot. Smoke pellet, hello? Where's my smoke pellet? Hey, you ain't looking so good. Shut up. Why, game? Come on. Alright, one more time. One more time. 
I got it that time. Now for Clayface and I can finally go to bed. Just then, my other roommate walked in, who had apparently been playing League just a room over. Good to know I haven't been keeping you awake, I guess. I did pretty bad at this boss, but Clayface does so little damage that it really didn't matter. Then his stoner friend showed up, apparently higher than a kite. Dude, I was on, I was on 130 milligrams. For reference, you, you want to do 10. They talked about weed stuff I still don't understand. They offered me to join, and I refused because I'm a good Christian boy. And I beat the boss on just 1 HP. Time! So that's the story of when I got drunk and played Batman Arkham City. Did I have fun? Yeah. Did I regret everything the morning after? Also yes. Was making this into an entertaining video an absolute pain in the keister? Yes times three. But most importantly, would I recommend anyone else do this? Did, did you even listen to the disclaimer? Fuck no! <laughs>